Hey there everyone, I made a video earlier on today and unfortunately I've had to pull it. I'm sorry if you got the notification and you're confused um, or if you went and watched it and then now you're going to even be even more confused because um, basically I got a few things wrong in this video which is why I've had to pull it and I'm making the corrected video now. Uh, so if you watched that previous video just forget what I said in it, um, I, got, I just I tested things wrongly. Um, so anyway, now I I'm going to give you some correct information. The topic of this video is elite, um, sorry, the scaling uh, with power that happens in events. This doesn't have to happen in tournaments, it's just in events, and it's in Platinum and Elite difficulty. Uh, one of the things I got completely wrong in this is I said that it doesn't happen in Platinum, uh, but now I've tested this. I don't know if that's always been the case, if it's always been happening in Platinum, or whether it's just the, the last few weeks, because uh, I've noticed Platinum being a bit tougher for a while. Uh, but anyway, going into the how things are working right now. Um, one thing I want to mention first before going into that scaling is talking about the resistances. So the resistances in Platinum and Elite are exactly the same. They do not scale with your power at all either. And uh, this guy on the forum actually uh, posted, um, he gave me a kind of number to work with here, 5,300. In the current event, I think 5,300 is the crit rating resistance. And crit rating is actually the key thing, because if you are uh, doing any set mixing, which a lot of people do, that is where you don't use a full AP set and have all the set bonuses. Uh, people often do it with the trinkets, because uh, like this ring I'm looking at here, it's got a set effect on it. And if you use two rings um, from different sets, you can have two different set effects going on. It's very, very useful, uh, very powerful, and uh, brilliant in PvP. However, you lose that AP set bonus of the crit rating. Which, if your stats aren't high enough, it may be pos uh, maybe the case that your uh, crit rating goes below the resistance. So then you just don't crit at all. So what I recommend is um, whenever a new platinum, um, whenever a new event or tournament comes out, then just check uh, by on the first enemy you meet, attack it with basic attacks, and have a look at the numbers. See if you're critting. If you're not critting, it's very important that you add uh, add that extra crit rating to your character. Um, so anyway, that's that's to do with crit rating, and um, otherwise the crit damage rating, um, this actually leads, leads nicely into what I was going to say uh, with the scaling. So the crit damage rating, um, the resistance for that is reasonably high, and then if you're over it, uh, basically you need to be like 700 over it to gain the full benefit. So the base crit damage is 1.5 times, however if you have 700 over the crit, uh, the resistance for it, then you can do 8.5 times with your crits. 8.5 times is obviously way more than 1.5 times, and that's where you'll get a load of damage. Uh, so the way to like really get high damage in PDE is having a high crit damage rating over the resistance. Beyond that 700 more, it makes absolutely no difference. You can't go beyond that 8.5 times. Um, and then elemental stats, they increase your damage loads. So those two things, uh, once you've got those two things high, then you do crazy damage. And that is kind of the reason why event scaling happens. So, the thing is, if you look at the uh, suggested power here, uh, the suggested power of the event is like 90,000. Now, if I were to make my character actually 90,000 power and uh, you know look at the stats which I have, you'd find that I only just have enough crit rating to, to start critting. My attack speed would like uh, it would be slow, it would like, be at the window where you start attacking a little bit faster. Crit damage rating is actually below the resistance, so I would be doing the base 1.5 times with crits. So the event would actually be really quite tricky, and the event has to be doable for those people, because that, you know, that's the suggested power, that's the power they'll be, they'll be hitting when they uh, come to play this, and the stats they'll have at that stage. So it needs to be doable for those people. However, if it was just at that difficulty, and it didn't scale with anyone's power, as soon as they got stronger, it would just become super easy, because you'd be doing more than five times the damage, um, you know, for archers as well, where they'd be attacking faster with their attack speed. They'd be just be doing ridiculous damage, and the, the enemies would die super fast. And that's, it's not that fun. People actually really, uh, re when there was no hard content in the game, people really wanted it. They were, like, begging for it. And I think it's good that they've done this to events. Uh, tournaments are still untouched, so actually I, I even one-shot some of the Platinum tournament bosses. But the events, it, it does it here. So it's kind of a little bit of a challenge for those strong people. However, the key message I want to get across in this video is that it's not ridiculous. 
because some of the really strong people um, are complaining about the current event, saying it's just impossible to do. They're just dying one shot to things and stuff. And I don't, I don't believe that it's that tricky because um, it's it's a lot easier than when you first come to it. Uh, anyway, we'll get into a rant there. Um, so here's actually how it works. When you have like ninety thousand pounds, um, oh, I should just suggest. Um, ah, sorry, get my words straight. Um, I should tell you how I was doing this testing. This is on the first enemy in this event. Um, I was using Stone Bear to attack it, which, um, funnily enough, pets actually scale uh, with the power as well. So, like, where your power increases, you can see is like a 20% 20, 20 increase to my power. Um, the It still takes the same number of attacks for Stone Bear to kill, um, and that is because it's scaling with the power as well. So, anyway... Um, the, the enemy had like 55 million health uh, to begin with, same in Platinum and Elite, and then when you go and you increase, uh, then it's, again, it's the same in Platinum Elite up to a certain stage. So, um, if you look at the suggested power, I'm 20% 20, uh, 20 over the suggested power, and it's a 1.1 times increase, that's to both their health and their damage. So you can see it only scales a little bit to begin with. And then it st it speeds up a bit, so as you sort of you know get a bit more power, it starts to increase by more, and then it, it kind of hits its limit here where you're you're one point five times the suggested power, and they all have uh, double the damage and double the health. That's again the case in both platinum and elite. Now at this point, this is when um, platinum difficulty stops scaling. So after you're fifty percent over the power, then it stops scaling at that point, and if you get even more power, you know even more stats. It won't scale any tougher. So platinum difficulty um, is always kind of, you know, this doable amount. Um, yeah, it's elite that then scales more. So also pet skills stop increasing at this stage. So as you go into the high, the next one, you can see uh, for platinum, it's got the same amount of health uh, as it did before, but also took the same number of attacks because, yeah, stone bear wasn't increasing anymore. And uh, instead, elite keeps on going. So elite here... This is 1.5, uh, 1.7 times, sorry, 1.75 times the suggested power, and you can see Elite then goes up to three times uh, the health and the damage, which means that it took 26 attacks in this case, um, and yeah, this is me saying, oh, it's also killing the Stone Bear faster. Um, now it then stops, so Elite stops scaling when you're you're two times the suggested power, and it stops scaling at four times the health and the damage of the enemies. So yeah, that seems like a really high, a uh, really large amount. Four times increase to their health and four times increase to their damage. And I can see why, you know, if you were looking at these numbers and stuff, like nobody else has actually done this testing. But let's say uh, one of these people who's complaining and who is high power and struggling does this testing, and they'll see that like, what the hell, like you know, four times more health and four times more damage than these other people. Um, that's not fair at all. However, when you look at it in practice, or you look at it actually as the stats of the people at these different powers, it is completely fine. And I'm going to show I'm going to show myself uh, playing uh, playing event uh, the elite event with a load of power and like barely any stats. And you'll see that actually it's oh well, I say barely any stats I mean barely any elemental stats. And uh, you'll see how it's it's totally fine. Um, so the other the other thing to note about this um, well so. Um, to talk first about the stats, basically as you increase your power, um, your health and your armor are increasing lots. So this increase to their damage is actually at a slower rate to your increase to health and armor. So whatever hits you, say here you get, uh, sorry, say at the um, 90,000 power you get hit for an attack and it does like 20% of your health. When you're at, at this stage here and the enemy does like four times the damage with that hit, However, actually, your health and armor would have increased to the point that that hit does about, like, I don't know, 15 to 18% of your health. Basically, a little bit less. So, actually, you are you are definitely getting stronger. You're definitely not weaker than this earlier stage. Um, but, as you increase your power, the things which you, you, you do to increase your power, that is, like, get your battle wings up or your promotion up, they don't increase your damage output by the same kind of amount, relatively. So, what you notice as you get to this high power thing, it's not that you're dying quicker but actually that the enemies take longer to kill. That's the main thing that you'll notice and the main problem you'll have. And if, you, uh, if you're if you used to being strong or whatever and you rush in and you let you can't kill off the enemies quickly enough, you could get attacked by loads of them and you could get killed off really quickly. Um, so it's that element of challenge there. However, it's, it's totally fine with, um, 
you know, you've got all the tools to, to really do it. Um, and if you've got good elemental stats, your, your damage is still fine. There is unfortunately a bit of a window in the middle where um, you could have really high armor from elite jewels and you could have really good damage output from uh, elemental stats. And this is where then you would like, you do, you do it the fastest possible. And then increasing your power further would basically slow you down and make it a bit tougher for yourself as well because relatively your armor hasn't increased by so much because you have so much from elite jewels anyway. So yeah, it's a bit annoying for those top people that have like, you know, they worked hard for the power and stuff and it's tougher for them than it is for someone like me who's like more this sort of mid-range but has awesome damage and um but yeah even when you get to this top level it's it's fine so that's what i'm going to show to you now um it's me on this character i've like put max wings and um i think i'm on like a thousand class promotion so anyway i'm exactly double the power of the of the event which means it's scaled up um to the the maximum possible and i've only got 137% fire, which I'm going to be using chilling arrows, for, uh, sorry, uh, uh, scorching arrows for this. And bear in mind, fire against water enemies is going to be halved. So this is like, you know, a terrible setup for how to do this elite event. However, I'm going to show you how it's it's still perfectly doable. Um, at least, you know, I hope, I, I kind of boldly say that. <laughs> it better work. I, I've tested this and uh, and it was, it was totally fine, but um, yeah, this first enemy. This enemy actually has quite a lot of health. It's annoying. Alrighty. So enemy goes down, and then now we're going to take on this group here. So um, I said earlier as well that um, your uh, so your pet skills scale with the difficulty. So um, they're actually really strong at this stage if you're if you don't have the proper stats for it. Um, Okay, so that, that guy was healing them, which is a massive pain. Now that now he's down, um, you can see the enemies. You know, they take a little bit of punishment. It should be it should be challenging, but like, they're not actually like taking ages to kill. And uh, if I were to like you know try and tank them or whatever, uh, you'll see that um, they don't actually do like loads of damage to me. Um, well, actually, I'm like dodging stuff there. But, um, yeah, basically, like they don't do loads of damage. They they they're fine. It's only like the big hits which will will do loads of damage to you. Uh, so now I'm going to go take on the next group. Um, right, so that guy's down. I'm going to take out this guy beforehand as well, because... Um, oh, no, he's going to be annoying and run towards me. Because, uh, yeah, if you can kill these guys off without actually letting them see you, then... Um, and it stops the group from coming to you, but I think he's going to spot me now. No, he's not. Cool. He's facing the other way. Uh, just because I want that group to kind of stay stay packed together down there. Ah, he spotted me now. Oh, well, whatever. So I need to kill this guy off. Oh, is it going to lag? <laughs> going to cause me problems with lag. Okay, I better get back from range so I do more damage. Okay, there we go. Healing guy down. Uh, actually, I'm going to use Venom Turret here just so you can see how much it annihilates them in this event. Yeah, you can see <laughs> they've gone down already. <laughs> um, right, now we got to the boss. I am going to use uh, Venom Turret in this boss fight. Oh yeah, I've got I've got a cooldown potion active as well. I'm sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, I I activated it and um, earlier on, and you know I'm not going to wait for it to come off. So yeah, I'm gonna use Venom Turret on this boss, but um, I won't. I won't spam it as much as I could, uh, just because, you know, it, it would be silly if I did that. I forgot to um, to be fearing the enemies as well. I prefer not to be spamming decoy either. But anyway, I did. I promise. I, I promise. I did this earlier on, and uh, without like, without a cooldown potion and not spamming stuff, um, and it was fine to do. But the boss, you know, it takes a bit of punishment. Um, doesn't go down in a few seconds. And whoa, I looked down at the timer there because I just. Uh, uh, I wish I didn't die. I looked down at the timer because I got 20 seconds left before the recorder stops. And I was thinking, can I do this in time? And then I looked up and he attacked me. But anyway, 
I hope you you can believe me there. You can trust me there that um it is it is totally fine to do because that is like literally the worst case possible that I just showed. But anyway, that's event scaling for you. I hope it tells you everything you want to know. And thanks very much.